This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. And hello, hello, one and all. How are you? Oh, boy. I'm tired again tonight. I'm constantly tired. I don't know. I'm going to stop taking a heavy version of the pill I've been taking. So I'm going to take half a dose. So we're going to see what happens. <laughs> I just, you know, you get, as, as uh, Betty Davis once said, getting old ain't for sissies. Okay? Just let me warn you ahead of time. Nothing to look forward to. Okay? All right. Anyway, listen, it's time for us to uh, start our program off by going to our, uh, our old friend uh, who was out in California, and his name is Phil Meyer. Hello, Philip. Hey, thanks for uh, letting me on today. This is, uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah. Well, it's good, so, it's good talking to you too. Yeah. So what's new? What, what what have you been doing lately? What have I been doing? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I, I you know I just wish I could just sleep all day. Do da do da sleep all day and sleep all night all the do da. Yeah. Yeah. And well. I know. I'm just I'm just exhausted lately. I just constantly. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so I'm well, here with my coffee. Actually, it's my day old coffee. I no, I <laughs> finally nice. decided I never finish a whole cup of coffee. I leave at least a, a half, if not two thirds, of a cup here, and so yeah. uh, I put it in the refrigerator and warm it up the next day. It's just well, as that, good. Yeah. Hey, waste not, want not. Mm. Uh, you know, I've, I've been noticing. Mm. Uh, you know, the last couple of days, I broke out. Uh, I have a first generation Apple Watch. And uh, oh, one of those old ones, the small ones, yeah, yeah. yeah this is, uh, I guess it's 38 uh, uh, millimeter, or uh, no, however it, it was yours, the large one. No, it was the smaller one. Oh, I bought it for it Fay, a, it was a 38, right? Yeah, okay. I, I bought it for Fay in the box says 2015. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that a is that possible? The first generation was 2015. Could well be. I think you might be right. I think you know, so. There's a good possibility you're yeah, correct. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we had the box and, you know, the whole thing. So I took, I went over to the Apple store. The, the, re, the impetus for this is that people in, uh, in my vicinity of where I live, Walnut Creek, Danville, they've been getting knocked over the head and they've been stealing their Rolexes. Uh, and uh, so there has been a number of armed robberies in Redwood City, Walnut Creek, mm -hmm. Danville, Blackhawk. They they followed some guy, mm -hmm. a woman in a Bentley home from shopping, and uh, they, you know, uh, the neighbor actually thwarted the the robbery. But uh, uh, most of these robberies have uh, netted the victim. Uh, uh, there was a restaurant around the corner. Yeah, followed him out of the restaurant into the parking lot, knocked him down, robbed him at gunpoint, and took his Rolex. And I'm saying to myself, do I really want to advertise that, you know, that that's what I wear? Uh, because I've walked into a number of stores lately, and a clerk or somebody would say, hey, nice Rolex. And I'm saying to myself, I don't notice them when I walk around. How are these people noticing them? And now the news oh, is... I, 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 let me tell you, uh, many years ago, you could go and stand in front, go to the Rolex building here in New York yeah. on Fifth uh -huh. Avenue. And oddly enough, ironically enough, uh, uh, in front of the Rolex building was a guy selling phony Rolexes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, which actually were not considered to be terribly bad watches. They had a Seiko movement in them or something. They're pretty, pretty okay, yeah. you know. Some um, of them keep better time than the real Rolex. So I bought one. I bought <laughs> yeah. one, and I started wearing it. 
yeah. then everybody would say, "Oh, nice Rolex." Really, yeah. because from a distance, you can't tell. No, you you can't. You know, but, up close, yeah, you can say, "Oh, that's not there," and this is off, and that doesn't look right, and this. But from a, just across the table, it looks like you're wearing a Rolex. Okay. Yeah. But then I knew people who started getting robbed for their Rolexes, and I said, I'll be damned if I'm going to be beaten over the head for a phony Rolex. Yeah, for a $50 know. watch. For, for, no, for 50, a $100 50, watch. I bought them for 15 15 yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, so uh, I, I decided that I wasn't going to wear my phony Rolex anymore. Well, you know, you know I'm... Plus, I, also, the message it gave to other people that I was really a sucker and paid for a Rolex. But anyway, well, go ahead. Well, I, you know, I bought this in 1996, and I've worn it every day since I bought it. Mm -hmm. I, I liked it. I liked the way it felt. I liked it on my wrist much more than any other watch. And I have other ones. I was watching Antiques Roadshow. You know Antiques yeah. Roadshow. And a guy comes on, and he says, I've got this Rolex watch. It's still in its original box. Was that the Daytona the guy bought in the in Vietnam or something? No, he, when he I don't know where he said he bought it. I think maybe the Philippines or South Korea or someplace. Like it was that. a Daytona. Was it uh, what? No, uh, Rolex Daytona. No, no. Uh, the, the name of the watch. No, it was it was, it was an a oyster. chronometer. It was a chronometer and it was a oyster, I think. Well, they were all oyster, yeah. but. Uh, yeah, that was it worth. By the way, you know what kind of noise a noise an oyster? Yeah, uh, yeah, Rolex. <laughs> no, a noisy noise a noise an oyster. Anyway, uh, so uh, he, the the guy looks at it and he says, "Oh, and you have the original box, and it's never been worn, and, and the receipt, and the receipt, and the and the whole bunch of provenance on it, and all of that." And, he said, "Oh well, uh, this watch is worth a million dollars." Wow! I I thought I saw that one, but and the guy uh, literally collapsed. Yeah, he was kind of like a hippie, wasn't he? Yeah, it was like he had a long beard, long hair, and all of that, yeah. you know. And he just collapsed and went, "Oh boy," you know. Did he paid five hundred dollars for he it. Paid, in like paid, no, I think he paid three hundred. Wow, at the PX or but, something. Yeah, the PX, and that but that was a lot of money for him in yeah. those days. You know, that was probably two months' pay. And it's a great, so it's a great story. You know, yeah. uh, who 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 would have thunk, right? Yeah, you know, so uh, amazing, just amazing. But uh, 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 so I just I I stopped wearing my phony Rolex because I didn't want to get killed for a phony no, that, Rolex. That's the last yeah. thing you need. I saw tonight on on YouTube they were talking about people getting robbed for their Rolexes, and in the UK uh, they had a number of people. Uh, they went into a guy's uh, store and uh, knocked them down on the floor. Other situations where four people got out of a car, swarmed the uh, swarmed a guy that was just walking down the sidewalk. Uh, they must have seen it at one point because he had his hands in his pocket. Yeah. And, uh, and knocked them over the head. You know, who needs this? And who needs it? Nobody needs that. No. Know, but, uh, but anyway, so, I mean, uh, um, I, uh, but you know something? You should really just get yourself a, uh, a full-blown uh, Apple Watch because, really, they're very good. They're very oh. useful. They're, you know, I get all my messages on them. If I Skyped you, you could, you know, get the message. Or, well, or, I, I see things on it. I'm not quite sure how how it works. I, I've, I've gone through messages and emails. Um, if um, I have a... Uh, well, you see, if you get what I've got, yeah, uh, this, this works on, online as well. Yeah, you know, this is this this is really a, a phone. I can yeah. I can leave my phone at home and make calls from this thing and listen to music uh, from the uh, cloud on this thing. I mean, it's it's basically uh, you can use it without your iPhone. That one you have to have your iPhone around. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I have the iPhone anyway because now my phone is uh, working in conjunction with my diabetes sensor. Mm -hmm. So uh, it keeps track of all what day. What does your diabetes sensor say? Oh, yes, you still have diabetes. Yeah, well, see, I, I got this thing here. Uh -huh. uh, what happens is you, uh, you go to the program. Uh, now, is that, does, that, is that, does that stick to you, or does it have a needle that goes in? It has a needle. Yeah. And, it, and uh, so uh, let's say I, uh, I put the phone, I 
it's hard to see. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I scan error. Try it again. Check glucose. Uh, you know, your Apple Watch will probably soon be able to do that. Yeah, I think so. So right now my sugar is 121. There we go. Yeah. 121. Mm -hmm. But it, it keeps track. That graph is telling me. Is that, you know, is that good? 121 good? Yeah. Uh, for me it is. Uh, it, uh, normal is 99. So if you're not diabetic, 99 and a little bit under 90, 99. Well, we have somebody uh, waiting to come on the line who is diabetic as well. Uh, yeah. Char oh, Charlie? Charlie. Yeah, we'll ask him about it in a bit. You know. Yeah. So, uh, but, you know, I also, I, I got monkey pox here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it, I, I, I caught it. <laughs> so, that's monkey pox. You know, it, it's not because people got it from monkeys. No, well, yeah. I, I got it from a plush. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, it's the Rolex thing, the diabetes, all of that stuff yeah. uh, has, has been uh, on my mind this week. So just to finish up the Rolex thing, I, I left this in the safe for four days, mm -hmm. and I, I wore this, and it, and it wasn't so bad. Uh, it, you can check your breath, uh, so it, it tells you to breathe for a minute or whatever yeah. you said well, it for. What you should do is get one, get one of the new ones. You, you don't mind spending the money. And get one of the large ones, and get uh, get it so it you know works without the iPhone if you want it to. Yeah. Uh, and you pay ten bucks a month extra to the phone company for the service, and I think you'll find it extraordinarily useful once you learn how to use all the features. I yeah. love it. I absolutely love it. I can't live without it. You know. No, I'm I'm trying to wean myself off of uh, the Rolex in order to. Uh, do the Apple Watch? Uh, it, it's it's difficult, you know, to go from something like this to something that's plastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially after uh, thirty years of wearing it, uh, it's it's tough to wean yourself off. Yeah. But yeah. Um, uh, oh, and now just to get on to Trump for a minute. For a minute, uh, we can get on to him for about yeah. a half hour well, right now. Uh, you know, you, you know uh, I guess there's Democrats as well as Republicans that are condemning the uh, weaponizing of the um, uh, D uh, Department of Justice uh, as See, well you're as using, you're, you're, you're using uh, You're using the language that has already been sent out there to be said by everybody. The weaponizing of the FBI. Well, yes. Uh, now, think about this. Um, they... Whenever in these countries in South America, mm. when uh, when one administration loses to another administration, they go out, they shoot the last guy, they arrest him, yeah, they put true. him in chains. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and yeah. and and then, uh, for instance, uh, but what's what, what do we do? What do we do in this country if we have a president who, while he was in office or left office, did things that were illegal? Is he allowed to get away with the crime because you're afraid of? Of saying, oh, it's like a South American country. Uh, that has nothing to do with oh, yes. uh, with this. Has if he committed a crime, there's everything. nothing. There's nothing wrong in investigating and and tr and trying somebody that committed a crime. Well, they're investigating. Right. No. Yes, but what they're also doing is uh, by uh, the search that they did of his home, mm -hmm. which turned up nothing and I, you know i think what's happening what do you is, mean it turned up nothing how do you know it turned up nothing? there was four documents were you there, were you there phil yeah well i know that anything that they did turn up was probably planted by the fbi oh jeez, phil but, phil please uh, don't don't now, even start they, with they that. turned up uh, let me tell you what they turned up they turned up a letter wait who told uh, that, where oh, did you find this out because i i'm the fbi hasn't said what they turned up and the no. FBI hasn't even shown a, the warrant, which they don't do normally okay. in these cases. Well, Alan told me if you ask me that question to say MSNBC, but no, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I wasn't watching MSNBC. Oh, no, I, I, but I didn't see it there. Uh, so, oh, I there see. Was, but you saw uh, it. Some. It's, you know, there has been uh, some negotiations between Trump and uh, and the government that some of the documents that he had taken uh, uh, from, the, from the White House, he was negotiating whether well, he was going to he returned 13 boxes of them. Uh, uh, I think the FBI took boxes. No, of them. he returned 13 boxes. 
Okay, well, they found See, four you don't other even know, boxes. you don't even know the situation. You haven't oh, even... They, they took boxes out of Mar-a-Lago. Well, they took boxes out of Mar-a-Lago because those were boxes he wouldn't... He wasn't... Uh, he wasn't going to turn uh, over yet, but he was in negotiations to do well, that. Well, no, apparently... Look, we don't know what happened with those negotiations, but usually if negotiations are ongoing, they don't just do something like this. Exactly, exactly. Well, let me let me tell you what the four documents that No, there I aren't call. there aren't four documents, Phil. Nobody knows what they took out of there. They were you. there. They were there from six in the morning till six at night, okay? Right. Well, I, they found a couple of things, especially in Melania's closet. But uh, one of the documents that I was led to understand was a letter from Obama to Trump. Yes. Th those Another one was a letter from yes. Kim Jong-un uh, uh, to Trump. And, oh, oh, uh, I, by the way, I believe those were part of the stuff that was handed over before. Well, and, and, uh, and another was a menu uh, from a yeah, but, state they, they, but, they, but they, we don't know what they took because they haven't stated what they took and they probably won't state what they oh. took because okay. that's privileged information well they you know what they found in Melania's closet uh, uh, hamburgers no the 33,000 Hillary emails on and the server I see yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyway, I, I just I, I also look at this uh, deal where they're uh, spending uh, billions of dollars on IRS hiring. Is it 80,000 IRS investigators? Uh, they ought to get 80,000 of them to answer your questions when you call with a with a problem. But uh, so and, and I you're think all what's over, you're happened, all over the place tonight, Phil. Pick a no, topic, no, no. pick a topic, any topic, hey, every any topic. topic. I think what's going to happen and I was talking about weaponizing. OK, I think that what uh, the Dems are trying to do is use the IRS oh, yeah. to go after oh, conservatives oh, or Trump, oh, you, Trump you, supporters. You, you, yeah, yeah, good. OK, start start believing that because, you know, Nixon did it with me. Yeah. And did you like it? He didn't get away with it. All right. Well, hopefully and the only uh, reason he never wound up in prison was because he got pardoned. Yeah, by Ford. And I guess that cost him the presidency. Yeah. You know, anyway, um, you know, uh, no, nobody likes those kinds of intrusions. To begin with, who released the information about the uh, search at Mar-a-Lago? Trump. Mm -hmm. So all the all the news about it came from him and all the the parsing of it and the uh, uh, talking about it came from his perspective and nobody else's. There is okay. nothing there from the FBI. They're doing what they always do. They never talk about these things, you know, and uh, they never show the warrant because that is none of your business, okay? Uh, and they don't want, they're not trying to pr prejudice a case ahead of time. But they didn't allow Trump's attorneys to be present uh, uh, during the search so that they could verify what was taken. I believe, uh, to begin with, the Secret Service was there, the Secret Service that protects him. Okay. Right, and they stand that, but that wasn't their position to verify. And what I believe, I believe the lawyers were allowed. Here's what happened. The lawyers were too busy in New York. You know who his lawyer is? Uh, it's not uh, the guy that's in jail. What's no, his no, name? No, no, no. Not no, Avenatti. It's <laughs> some woman who was a an announcer on OAN. That's his lawyer. Well, they'll, they're not going to take their and, eyes anyway, off and of I think, And I think that lawyer was at Mar-a-Lago at the time. But anyway, uh, the yeah. point is that, number one, uh, the FBI was very nice to Trump about this. They made sure he was not going to be home. Now, why do you think they didn't want to make sure he was at home? So they could continue. They could go through all of these things and there wouldn't be wrong, a confrontation. Wrong, Phil. Well, they, they didn't want confrontation. No, no, How would it no, look if... No, uh, no, no confrontation. That wasn't the reason why. All right. Well, tell me what you think. It was out of respect mean. for him because if he was there, they would have had to handcuff him mm. because it's, it's procedure that if you're going to do a, a search that you handcuff the person whose premises you're searching so that he can't go around destroying evidence. So they made sure he wasn't going to be there and they notified uh, the Trump people, I think it was maybe six hours ahead of time that they were gonna be doing this. 
So all the, the all the all the T's were crossed and all the I's were dotted, you oh. know. So I am very glad that Merritt Garland uh, Merritt Garland didn't get a position on the Supreme Court because, as far as I'm concerned, he ought to be impeached. Uh, he's well, uh, what he did was uh, was he, he, he should to, be impeached. Uh, they don't impeach. Yes. You don't impeach uh, people who are the head of. The you can system. get rid of them. This department. Uh, you know uh, what he did uh, was no. All uh, he did, all he did, was sign off on it. But him signing off on it is not the final thing. The final well, thing is a judge who looks at what the uh -huh. what the what what the what the Justice Department, or in this case the FBI, said were the things they were looking for, right, and, you... and 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 the reason for it. And the the judge uh, said, okay, this looks kosher. Okay, did you uh, hear uh, some of the statements that were made by that judge, some of his postings on Facebook? And he, he was a pro-Obama judge. Uh, he didn't like Trump. Matter of fact, he also donated money. Where to did you Bush hear this Trump. one? Uh, uh, Alan where says you, MSNBC. Where, where did you hear this one? You know, I turned over to Fox to hear how they were parsing all of this. And there were two differences between MSNBC and Fox. One, yeah, what, one major difference. The truth? Fox referred to it as a raid. Yeah. And MSNBC correctly you know, uh, called it a search. You see, nobody had a raid warrant. They had a search warrant. It but is what a was search. Their problem? It was not a raid. That was Trump's statement that they raided me. Right. What they was didn't the probable raid him. cause? If they raided him, they would have confiscated drugs. What was know? the probable cause for the search? I have no idea, and you don't either, and neither does Fox, and neither does anybody in this country until the FBI wants to hold a press conference and, and, and say it, and they probably won't because they usually don't in any case. I think that the reason for it was to try to continue by the to way, by discredit the way, people, Trump. People here are writing, are, are writing on the chat. Drink, 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 uh, well, drink. Well, good. I hope they're drunk. Uh, you know, the the thing is, uh, I think that they are, they are trying to discredit Trump. They're trying to uh, uh, put more chinks in his armor so he doesn't run in 2024. Uh, they tried it with the dossier. That was... Uh, well, what did you think about his mob boss uh, attitude at his... Uh, at his uh, uh, deposition today. I didn't see the deposition. Oh, oh, refusing to testify. Oh, the he took the fifth. Taking the fifth, yeah. Well, isn't that what mobs? Isn't that what mobs? No, in fact, no. It's in not. fact, it was it was Trump himself who, in the yeah. past, said that if you take the Fifth Amendment, then you're probably guilty. Well, the he thing said is, that he said that. Yeah, Phil. But why should you give your opponents the opportunity? To use whatever you say against you, he's much better off taking the fifth. That's his constitutional right. And, you know, that's his right as an American. That's not got anything to do with being a mobster. That's, that's uh, you're not, you know, you want to protect yourself from self-incrimination. Well, uh, according to Trump, in a past statement he made while he was president, anybody who takes the fifth is probably guilty. Yeah, well, you, so I, you, if you believe everything Trump says, then you have to agree uh, that he, hey, he you've probably made is statements, guilty. You've made statements that you want to retract, like uh, Phil's a nice guy. You know, I mean, hey, well, you know, uh, the fact that I say you are a nice guy has gotten me in a lot of trouble with my audience. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Maybe they'll get drunk. Yeah, but and I, and if they get drunk, they might call. But Phil, I wish that uh, that a lot of this were 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 true. You know, but I mean, uh, you've uh, you've got uh, you know you don't have you're not in pure possession of the facts. I'm in possession of enough of the facts. No, 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 no. I'm no. in possession enough. You're to saying be you're saying here's what they took. They no, they nobody knows yeah. what they took. Obama's letter. I no, mean, no, you know. no, 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 Phil. I believe, if I remember correctly, that is stuff that he willingly gave up because it was requested by the uh, what do you call it the. Uh, the archives, the archives, the national archives. That that's no. it's national archives. Wouldn't stuff. he want that stuff for his own library? No, you know, I'm no. sure he's going to have a presidential well, he, library. He can get he can get uh, Xerox copies of it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, and I think if you if you do start your own presidential library, you can request these things from the archives, who will loan them to your library. 
Yeah. You know, but, you know, be that as it may, there's something that he has re he's refused to turn over that is privileged information of the government's that he does not have a right, wait a minute, that he does not have a right to have, and that's what they were looking for. Now, whether they found it or not, I have no idea because nobody told me, and nobody told you either. I saw it on uh, on Fox, you know. Yeah, you I, saw it I, on I Fox. saw they had the list of uh, uh, of those yeah, documents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They because they, they were able to get their hands on. You forget. Of course, it, I'm, I'm sure. Phil, 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 come on. All right. Let's let's so, let's 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 be, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I am. Let's <laughs> let, let's not try to create a, a horrible horrible situation here. Where right. we're, we're relying oh, and the, the last public. thing I want to say, uh, it's on a different topic. I like the new opening very much. It's real professional. Uh, it's uh, the, the, you know, the, um, the uh, video of the city and, and all of those things. I, it's really clean. Yeah, I, I shot like. all those pictures myself. No, I'm sure you did. <laughs> well, you paid for it. I pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I pay for it. Yeah. It looks, I, it looks good. It's, it's more professional like than the rest of the show. Of course. By the way, yeah. I, I want to say this, folks. On uh, Friday, we won't be starting the talk part of the program till about 11.30 Eastern. And the reason is, is that I did an interview on Monday with uh, the former governor of the state of New York, uh, 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 David Patterson, uh, who sat with me for an hour. And we you know, had a very good discussion about politics as they are now and how uncivil things are, and he's he's a really he's a great guy to listen to. He's very smart, and it, it, they we we got going, and I just said, hey, this thing's going past thirty minutes. It's going on to an hour. I'll let it go an hour, and we so you'll and then then we can all discuss it after you know after. Oh, uh, you don't want to break it up into two? No, uh, no, 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 no. Why? You know, yeah. it, it's that good. And, oh, that's uh, great. I'll, I'll look you, forward to it. You know, I think people will enjoy it. But, uh, you know, whatever. There are a whole bunch of people here waiting, Phil. Really? Should we... Uh, are should any we... of them sober? Uh, yeah, I imagine they are. You know, <laughs> right. let's let them come on here. And uh, here's uh, here's Kevin, and here's, uh, here's Alan, and here's the lovely and attractive Charlie Wallace as well. And we have uh, Jeff uh, Stein uh, is with us as well. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good, good. <clears throat> I love the conspiracy theorist that uh, Phil is. Yeah, this whole thing about yeah, they're gonna <laughs> they get, they're trying to uh, they're trying to. No, uh, nobody in the country, no news agency in the country knows what's taken, but Phil does. They went in. <laughs> they, well, they went into Mar-a-Lago to, to plant stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you get Epoch News, uh, you'll know the truth. The, oh, so yeah, oh, what, yeah. what did Epoch News say about uh, Republican Representative Scott Perry today? His phone <laughs> was taken. His, but, his another FBI phone warrant, was, huh? Uh, his his phone was taken, and I By think the FBI. they also they also took his Rolex. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, that was paid for with taxpayers' money. So Trump takes the Fifth Amendment, Phil. Yeah. And and Alex is right. I heard him say when he was president, that somebody that takes the fifth is usually guilty. So well, what's he guilty of? Multiple times. Yeah, he it's said his at prerogative. Least five times. At least five or six. Yeah. It is a prerogative, but it's usually done by people that are guilty so they don't incriminate themselves. How, 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 is, that so, how is that true when it's an amendment to the Constitution and it's... You want to ask Trump that. Yeah, well, really. Yeah, hey. He's the one that said it. Well, I guess when you're in that kind of no, position. No, no, hey, if you, if you believe in your boy Trump, then you have to believe, what, agree with what he said. He told you, you should, and you should agree to it, that if somebody uh, refuses to, you know, takes the Fifth Amendment, that they're probably guilty. Well, he also um, said that if you're being investigated by the FBI, you should not be qualified to run for the United States presidency. Well, that's a direct <laughs> quote several times. That's true with Hillary. About the same amount. Oh, with Hillary. But Hillary's not running. DeSantis actually said something very similar to that today. Yeah. He said on Fox News, I watched it, he said, 
if Trump's being investigated by the FBI, maybe he's not the right person for 2024. What happened to innocent until proven guilty? I thought DeSantis was What, what happened buddy. to the Constitution? I thought you took an oath, Alan, to uphold the Constitution. Now, <laughs> now that you, you know... The, you I mean, I understand it versus you. You took the same oath. Yeah, I did, and and I believe in it. Uh, this hey, was full. Yeah. This was full a half hour ago. <laughs> yeah, really. Thank God I stopped drinking alcohol. I would be drunk. Hey, this is this is what I'm doing for water. That's your piss bottle. What are you doing with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this one. Uh, you know, you get up in the morning at seven a.m. You, you go from there from nine. Uh, to 11, mm -hmm. and this way you make sure mm -hmm. that you get enough water. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, this is, uh, you know, I mean, I think that uh, uh, you're having a tendency to believe the wrong sources. I'm not saying that you, sh I mean, I'm not listening to those, any of those sources. I'm looking at what happened, and I'm looking to see uh, whether I believe it was, uh, I can't say whether it was right or wrong of the FBI to do it, because I don't know what they were looking for. Uh, you well, don't. You, know, you, I mean, you don't either, Phil. You don't but either. There's a, there's no, a lot. Of, there's a lot of people in the government that are saying that it that it wasn't right. Well, then, and, then, then that's their the then that's that's their opinion. My opinion is that they did the right thing. Uh, yes, Charlie. Charlie can speak for uh, me. I just want to know, what do you do if a, a person is breaking the law? Just because they're running for office, they get carte blank to just do whatever they want? You can't investigate right. him? You can't seize any evidence of his crimes? You can't no. do anything? Phil, no, you have to know. You have to realize something here. That if the, if the FBI decided to go and search Mar-a-Lago, they had good cause because they wouldn't have done it without some kind of good cause because they knew the blowback that they would get from this. Everything that's happening right now, they fully expected, and they want to be able to have something they can justify. And I'm sure they'll be able to justify it. No, well, I guess we're going to see. Uh, uh, I now, mean, no uh, matter what we, what, what we the, see. The interesting thing that's coming up on the New York investigation is that they're going to get Trump's tax returns. And, I, you know, I would like to know one way or another if it was if what he claimed was true. And if it was true, I think you guys are going to have a lot of egg on your face. But what, if it's if true, what, is, what is true? What is uh, true? You know, that his, his worth, uh, you know, of, of what he claimed. Uh, you know, I, they, that's why they want to see his tax returns, because they want to see if uh, he is who he says he is. And, you know, at this point, uh, they're going to get them. Yeah. I think he's got more to worry about than us seeing if he's rich or not. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be this worried about that. thing that I think is, uh, I, you know, I'd be happy. You know, he said he would turn them over once he uh, was he in said. office. He, and, he called text you and he lied and he never did turn them over <laughs> right. when he, he never got turned them over of the hostile environment that he was facing oh, no 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 he <laughs> promised that he would phil he created the hostile environment no alan created the hostile environment with that if the irs was knocking on your door and i was out there calling you names i don't think so what uh, still to have to turn them over that's a good point yeah not necessarily. Well, we'll see. He's going to have to turn them over now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alan. Alan. So, so one, one more thing on this. The former director of the FBI, Andrew McCabe, a re lifelong Republican and appointed in 2016 by Donald Trump for last two years after the last guy got kicked to the curb. He says the FBI doesn't do things at the spur of a moment. This was well planned. Well done, the 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 the, the, the thing with the <clears throat> logo, and everything like that. And he said everybody's asking for what's happening and why was this done. And he says, but when the charges come up, which they will be coming soon, he believes, when the uh, against Trump, then people will know what they look for. And they did it this way because of what Comey did the other way. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yep. Well, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think you your buddy Trump's going down. I think DeSantis, you, you like him now, although he's jumping on Trump because he wants 
Trump to look bad. You know, well, he doesn't want Trump to run. And well, tell you the might. truth, I don't either. But uh, if he did run, I'd vote for him. But you, let me let me ask you this, him? Alan. Alan, since you are actually a cop. Okay. I was you actually I was cop. too. I was a level one. You were you were you were a, a reserve. Uh, you were a rent a cop. Anyway <laughs> since you were really actually a cop, um, was this a raid or a search? Search, not a raid. A raid is people were in there and you take them and handcuff them and that's a raid. A mm -hmm. search you just go in with the warrant and present it to Trump's lawyer who was on the premises. Was he on the premises? Yeah, one of them, but they wouldn't let him into the house, which is normal. Otherwise, they'd have to handcuff him. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. And it was a beautiful it search. Woman. It was a big, perfect beautiful search. search. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect search. Look at all the perfect. driver's licenses. Those are out. all my IDs as a cop. <laughs> yeah, from all different states, from all, the, you know, even Puerto Rico's in there. <laughs> They're fake. This this was me being sworn in. <laughs> All right. Oh my Who's God, the terrible. other guy? Wait, which one's you? There isn't a That's fat the... guy there. <laughs> <laughs> he was being sworn in by the janitor in Richmond. Really? <laughs> like the zookeeper. Police. <laughs> <laughs> go out and shoot somebody. Don't come back when I kill somebody. All right. Yeah. And Tony, how do you feel about all this stuff? You know, I thought about it and. I'm going to tell you the truth. Wait, wait, wait. This is dangerous. Tony yeah. thought about something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I'm going to, you know, I really, you're not going to find anything. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> you really think Trump is that stupid that he's yes. going to leave paperwork yeah. there that can link him? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. I, I, no way. No way. You know, it, isn't a matter, it isn't a matter of linking him. Uh, there are a lot of papers they have asked for back that he, well, was, not in, that he was not entitled to take with him well that's different but i think if they think they, if you think you're going to find a smoking gun no, or something they're not looking you? they weren't looking for a smoking gun tony this was, wasn't what this oh, was they, about they said this had nothing this had nothing to do with july 6th nothing right. think about think about all these morons that have been sending texts to each other and everything else no i don't know i, I think they don't do a radio list they would look for something that really we can blow this lid off you know i think i think what happened with tony about a month ago is phil said when you come to california you come to visit i will line you up and fix you up for the prettiest woman i could find for you if you'd start taking my side on I, the on the rally. hold the bullseye so you can shoot me <laughs> he, he wanted down. to stay with you Get all those. Well, no, I, got, I, I never said that. He said you got so many rooms. Apartment. I was joking. I, I'll stay at the Marriott. Police. Thank God. I yeah. told you to stay at the Hyatt. I mean, the Hyatt. I'm sorry. Yeah. The That's Marriott. Okay. Stay in Baltimore. That's okay. They, they have a special going on at the Hyatt in Los Angeles. I got a, Alex. I got the Hyatt for 140 at Baltimore Comic Con. Like I'm saving 100 bucks. I get because they're having the convention right there, so you say they you reserve rooms. Well, yeah. this is certainly the information our entire but, audience wants. But to listen, hear. The back to Trump. I agree with you, Alex. <laughs> but one thing, Phil, you have to admit: when you take the fifth, that's a mob move. No, it's not. Yes, Phil, you don't want to say something to incriminate himself. Yeah, of course. You know, and that's what, what Gotti would do. Would Cutler had Gotti, him as a lawyer because he's smart. Attorneys, his lawyer. He, he, attorneys, look, Mark, when you get cross-examined and you get deposed, they're trying to find uh, chinks in the armor. They're trying to Did find... you say chinks? They're trying to find contradiction. I, don't, I have don't to think Alex is right about You don't Come give on. somebody that's attacking you the Wait, tools to attack you with. If somebody came to me and said, "Listen, we want to interview you. Okay. You might have said wait, something." Wait. I'm not going to be like, "I can't talk to you. Wait until I get a lawyer." Hold on a second, Phil. What is the object I mean, of a deposition? To try to trip up the guy that you're deposing? No, no. <laughs> I've been through a deposition. I went through one on this apartment apartment. And if I had sat there and said I refuse to testify under my rights under the Fifth Amendment over and over and over again, I'd be paying seven thousand dollars a month rent on this place now. Wow, that's how much it is. You got a nice apartment, Alex. Could I, if you ever want somebody to take care of you, I'm a good cook. You they, they weren't trying He's to put nice yeah. in Tony, stay yeah. the fuck away. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Alex, they oh, weren't kid. trying to put you in jail. They were just trying to get higher rent for the apartment. And really? the thing about Tony 
is that yeah. the last time he was in your apartment, you know, all the paper plates <laughs> and, and disposable forks are gone. Yeah. Why? Gone. Because Tony's got them. I had that big jacket when you open it up and the watches come out. <laughs> what do you and want? I got this. I Tony, got this. and you take care of this guy and back him up the way he talks about you? Ah. <laughs> right. I actually think he's funny, really. I'm going to tell you so, Alex, of all he's the people like you get on the show, he's the funniest. Did I have you, to did say you, that. Uh, did you, uh, uh, Alan, did you send him more coffee? Yeah, I'm drinking no, gay. no, I sent him a little police car, actually. Well, thanks for the car, Alan. You're welcome. <laughs> Alan's very generous, I have to say that. Can I tell you a quick story? Yeah. My daughter, I'm giving her a ride to dance or do something. She sees my phone and she's on my phone. And she goes, oh, there's a there's another message from a, a Tony Mag something. And I said, oh, no, that's okay. Goes, you don't want to hear that. that daddy, he, he sent like 10 more. Oh, maybe, sorry. Maybe it's important. <laughs> daddy, maybe it's important. I said, no, that's okay. important. To and then like, there's 30 more. And okay. but Daddy, he says thirty times. I said, I no, it's not important. Nah, he he just wanted to get bailed out. He was uh, yeah, please, Tony, <laughs> Tony, stop it! I know, I do that with my brother. Now Brian's on the pecking list. Yeah, I I uh, Tony got my phone number. He got my uh, email. Okay, address, Jimmy, and yeah, no and kidding. So, I he blocked just, him yeah, on everything know. except the Facebook Messenger, and uh, he's been a good boy. I've been pretty good, though. I haven't bothered Alan too much lately. Well, that's because Alan will shoot you. Yeah, that's you're right. I tell him to do by Alan. I told Alan you. Has you I know Alan has you he's blocked there. right now. Oh, all right. That's why you didn't get back to me. I left you a nice message. I said thank you. Message. Well, I didn't leave you a voice. Okay, so the question I, here I, is, yeah. and I don't I'll need an Jeff's I don't need number. an answer from you, Phil, because we know what the you know answer my, is going to uh, be. How many think that Trump's in trouble? I'm not going to go first. Go. How about you, Kevin? Kevin? Thinks he's in trouble? Yeah. Say, what difference does it make? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. He's been in trouble for a long time, but what difference is it going to make? This is not a good sign. I mean, the, the, no, FBI, it's not, the FBI is not a good sign. But on the other hand, I don't think anybody should read into it anything more than it was, which was a search of his premises for certain things they were looking for. It's step one. Yeah, I don't think the FBI mm -hmm. has ever done this to a former president. No, no, former oh, no former president has been this. Has no, never stolen documents. He's never been That's this. Right. No former president has been as crooked as Donald Trump. Yeah. That's for sure. Wow. Yep. I didn't hear anything from Phil. I, I you know, I, I didn't need <laughs> to say him. anything. <laughs> you know, I mean, I to say Alan gave it to him off of MSNBC. Yeah, yeah. that's right. But the thing is, he's already saying, oh. Well, we hear that they're saying that you know maybe stuff was planted. You know he's going to turn this around. This is a witch hunt, you know, and already this is so. the same old mm -hmm. Trump. Yeah, Tony. I, I pose this question to the panel then. Then pose what it. Happens, Ooh, pose what away. happens after after six? Let's say, but before the year's over, right? Yeah. After the midterm elections. Yes. If there is no charges against Trump, uh -huh. then what do you think of those all this then? They're still investigating. Witch hunt. No, if nothing comes out of it, Alan. If no charges are ever brought. Sometimes things take longer than a Okay, year. let's say within the next 12 months. If let's no charges the, come. These things take time. Let's say within the next five years, Tony. Oh, come on. Five years? No way. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> That's a little too long. Yeah, yes. They'll drag it on until he dies. Yes, Charlie. What I'm trying to say is within 12 months, if there's no well, charges. Somebody let Charlie speak. Yeah. I just want to point out, you know, there was stuff in, in Trump's medical records that he didn't want known. So he went, broke into his doctor's office, stole his own medical records, and took them out of his office. <laughs> You ever noticed uh, the look on Phil's face? You know, Charlie, Charlie he, didn't, he didn't want to feed the parking meters either, so he put in slugs in the parking meter, you know, because he didn't want to feed the parking meter. Uh, yeah, a, broke the perfect doctor's this, office. This, this I can just see him with the little mask. <laughs> I never heard that. Trump I, is I a perfect specimen him, for his doctor. You know, uh, uh, you know, looking like the, the guy from uh, Simply Safe, 
you know, with the, the mustache sticking out of the uh, the hood, breaking mm-hmm. in, second story man Trump. Secret agent. He doesn't man. even carry his own golf clubs. You know what he did? Here, This is the, the scuzziest thing I've ever heard of anybody doing, or close to it, okay? Stand by for this one. And this is absolutely true. Where was Ivana Trump buried? Where was she buried? Anybody know? Grant's tomb. I can't believe she fell down. She was buried at Trump's New Jersey golf course. Oh, yeah, that's right. (laughs) And why did he do it? Why did he do it? For the the tax deduction. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. That's true. Now, what do you think of your boy, Tony? He's got taste. (laughs) He's smart. We know he's not a nice guy. He hey, should be buried on a golf course. It's good for the plants. Yeah. Thirteen gold. Well, you know what I want to know? Why didn't she have a walk-in apartment? She wouldn't have fell well, down. I don't think. It, I don't think it was right on the golf course. It's not like I she's mean, really. It's not like she's the thirteenth. She's sheet. on hole eight, make a left, and there she is. She's not like the thirteenth hole or something like that. <laughs> although, little, although who knows? She's on the last leg. When you're, when you're ready to check out like miniature golf, there she is. <laughs> because I mean, after all, isn't Melania the first hole? Anyway, oh, that's dirty. It was. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. That, ring the no, bell. That was dirty. had a foul mouth, Alex. This guy. He says, "I know." No, I leave yeah, Melania the... won't go up any stairs. Why won't she go up any walk. stairs? I don't know how the fuck she fell down the floor. No, she stays on the first floor. She didn't take any. Yeah, hands. she needs something to walk in. She wouldn't have fell. Donald there. Trump should carry her up if he was a real man. Well, he can carry himself. It's weird being the that's same right, age as <laughs> what. As old people. As old people. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, that made well, me that made me dizzy. I think that, what else yeah, is that, going on in the news? That's, that's where her grave is. Yeah, you're right. It really is on the uh, wait, wait, is it, did, did you yeah. look it up? Yeah. 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 Why, yeah. Would, yeah. why would anybody want to be buried at a golf club? Why would anybody want to be buried in New Jersey? He, yeah, you're right. Point. He, he buried her to buy a plot. You think he got a discount? He got a discount. I mean, and where, where did he bury her? There. I mean, uh, you know, and I'm weird. sure I'm sure he'll have a tomb there and charge admission for people to go look at it. Why? Why would there be? You're a right, Ben. Mr. the golf course. But, why but, would there be a tax break for burying someone at a at a golf club? Uh, for some reason, there is a golf. Uh, the, he'll he'll take a tax break on it, and they can go after him later. Because on. you don't pay property taxes on cemeteries. Oh, he must uh, have she's been buried in a plot of land that the. But the coffin they said was gold. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't lying, right, Phil? No, she's buried in bed, Mister. Golf That's the golf club. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that you can't make this up. Gold coffin. <laughs> Come on, That's probably no gold. gold. It's in a place, uh, oh, she's buried in a place where golfers would not see it if they tee off for a round. <laughs> yeah, she's in the rough somewhere. She's not actually on the In court. the rough, I love it. That's a good golf term, in yeah, the rough. Yeah. <clears throat> she's in the rough. Yeah. Phil didn't believe me, but now I guess I turned out I was right. Right, Phil? Yeah, you were right. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Says like here he usually that, is. Um, it's, not on, it's not on YouTube, that's why. Yeah. She was tax born, breaks, born. The tax breaks would not apply to the entire property as the cemetery exemptions apply only to plots less than 10 acres. Uh, Trump's club comes in at more than 500 acres. What so so he probably shit. took a part of it yeah. and then partitioned that yeah. off as a cemetery. They're, they're going to charge a dollar to get into the is he gonna Is he going to bury all the kids there? Uh, and Marla so. and... <laughs> Yeah. Well, wouldn't he qualify for Arlington? Oh if, God! Uh, please don't like, don't, like de- don't desecrate. He de- wasn't in the service. Don't desecrate. How? How, how? No, but he was the president of the United States. You know something? So. I don't think President the women JFK, but JFK was in the military. Right. Yes. Yeah. When, when do we Trump start? Talking, when do we start talking about him getting his library? It's going to be a no, library. To MS, yeah. According to MSNBC, he doesn't it. read. It's all pictures in it. The Art of the Deal. That's the only book. 
Yeah. So he's got a library. There's 400 books, and all the pages have been ripped out because he doesn't want anybody knowing. Huh. Oh, boy. Uh, Tony's got a library. It's all comic books. No, I'm reading. I, I have a lot of Nothing them. wrong with that. Yeah, what's I'm wrong with that? Oh, how do you Bill's putting you down again, Tony. Hey, I, I know. I you know what I'm a glutton for good punishment. I sent him my favorite book. Did you read it yet? I read a little of the chapter. I told you I ran a sale and I made some money off it. Not, not that. I actually went against what the guy said. Man, while you're running. masturbating, right? No, I'm running. Uh, he he sent me a book out. That was nice. I thought the box was going to blow up now when I opened. Not a joke. Mm -hmm. It was ticking. It was what ticking. Was That's what I'll take. It's like it's all right. By the way, I'm watching this thing, Neil Gaiman thing. Um, oh, how, my brother likes it, Alex. How do you like it? What's it called uh, the. Uh, 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 Sandman or Sandman? Yeah, yeah. I never read that. Time yeah, like that. yeah. I, actually, it's uh, I, I, it's quite good. I think it's quite interesting. You know, talking about good. Yeah. Have uh, you know? We got one more episode left of uh, Bra uh, not Breaking Bad, of, uh, Better Call Saul. No, I did. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, I can't see how this thing's going to end. This they all die. Or, I, I don't know. You know, this is the third time Phil's seen the whole thing, and he no, still can't you know, see it. I, you know, if you look at episode 12, season 6, episode 12, uh, it, you know, it's it's really out there. How, how are they going to sum this thing up in one more episode? It, 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 it was filmed in Trump's golf course. I think it may not have a happy ending. Right. They keep saying mm. that Fring is dead, but Fring was in Breaking Bad. He can't no, be No, no, no. Fring died... Uh, 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 during Breaking Bad or towards right. the end of it, yeah, yeah, right, toward the end of it, yeah. He, so this is all before right? Breaking Bad. No, no, was no, there no, an no. The, all the stuff in black and white is taking place after Breaking Bad. I gotta watch that. Oh, yeah. that's what so I'm in your movie, yeah. in your, your the last one, it, it's filmed in part of Trump's golf course for another tax write off. <laughs> Stick to the topic. I'm really enjoying this, and uh, I'm really not looking forward to it being over. This is yeah, this we feel the same way. You know, it's one of those about things you Trump really you're like. talking about, right? And the one we're all hoping, a lot of us are really hoping, is coming back is the Orville, but nobody yeah. knows what's going to happen. But it didn't that turn out to be just the best? Oh, yeah. I haven't watched it yet. I just started. I watched the last episode of year two to remind me oh. how it ended okay so I can start get to year three it will blow you away it is better than any star trek ever done really mm -hmm. yes yes it it's really sad. is a good show mm -hmm. is that good uh but uh, <clears throat> well uh, so uh, talk, talking about movies and endings yeah i'm listening to these old le Alex Bennett shows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody, never, somebody has stolen all my shows and is okay, running okay, them on YouTube. Uh, do you do you remember what movie? Do you remember what movie? You mentioned something happening at the end and it just blew up. To everybody complained and called on the show saying you said the ending of what happened of this one movie and it ran on and on. Oh, the spoiler. Yeah. yeah. What spoiler. do you mean? Was I was I spoiling a movie? You what? spoiled the movie, but it wasn't really a spoil. But if there's a big hubbub about it for for a while. Well, I love people we'll say, how, "You're spoiling that." Well, come on, the thing's been out for ten years now. I think it's yeah. time. Yeah, that no, we, no, no. If you haven't seen you remember, it by now, fuck you. You know. Yeah, right. Do you remember what movie that was, though? That you guys talked. I did, you know, I have no idea. Was, Why don't you write the guy who wrote, put the shows on? He probably knows those <laughs> shows better than me. I'm becoming a, becoming an Alex Bennett show expert. I mean, I'd so, write him and ask him to cease and desist, because I do own all those shows. Okay. That's an interesting By thing. Contract. Can you can you call so you that, hold on, Bill, hold and on, get Bill. the monetization? Let me finish what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm saying. The, the, uh, that that movie was uh, Godfather Three. Godfather do you remember Three. That? Oh, that one deserved to be spoiled. <laughs> uh, you know. I haven't seen it yet. Don't spoil it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it wasn't really a spoil, but people, people just made a big deal about it. It was, uh, uh, but, um, um, you know, I mean, I just, what bothers me is that somebody is using my material, stuff I did, my life's work, uh, without my permission. And if he'd simply asked, I would have said, sure, probably. 
I have a question, Alex. Well, let me finish what I'm going to say here. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I think it's just wrong of him not to get in touch with me and say, do you mind if I run these? Well, mm-hmm. this yeah. this is what I'm thinking. You know how if you and play it's just the audio they're running, by the way. Yeah. I, I, yeah, if you played a piece of music on YouTube, for instance, mm-hmm. and that uh, piece of music was copyrighted, mm-hmm. uh, they would demonetize you. And I guess the money for whatever monetization would go to yeah, the. Yeah, but person. I don't know. I don't know if he is running any ads on this. Is he running ads before these? Uh, oh, uh, Brian. No. No. No okay. ads. So there, there are no ads. No, no. But they have the ads like in between your news and you know the interviews and stuff. You mean the stuff that was on the show itself? From 1990. Yeah, from oh, 1990. Okay. But no, nothing monetized in the front. Uh, yeah, because I'm thinking that if it was monetized, then Alex could, you know, glom onto that. And uh, but the, the, I saw there's like five views. So are they running? Five? Are they running music uh, that we run on the show or not? Yes, yes. Oh yes. well, then they could get in trouble for that. Yeah, mm-hmm. got a lot of old tunes from back then. But yeah, they are running the music. They, they could get in trouble for that. Uh-huh. Yeah, because they're not. Uh, they're not. You know, uh, that might you might be able to shut them down. I wonder how well, they don't catch that. Was, look, at, look at what happens. Let's say I decide I don't like what's happening and I want to protect my my material, property. my property, uh, and I go after them. How do I look? You know, and what am I going to do with it if I win? You know, if well, they just take what, it all what, off. How, do, how am I winning? What happened to the fluorescent leech and Eddie, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, those guys? Uh, that, that went after uh, copyrights, uh, and uh, for I guess they went after uh, Sirius, right? Who was iPhone XR? It looks like it's Ray. Like Ray, turn your turn yourself sideways. I, I am, but it's not. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work. On okay, the well, right. it is now. So. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Anyway. Ah. Yes. Uh, hmm. Yes, uh, Alan. I just want to put a little note in here that I talked to Jack Bishop tonight. I talked to him tonight, too. Good. And he's doing fairly well. And he says hi to everybody. And when he gets out, he'll be back and expects everybody on the show to come visit him on the intersection. On the intersection. Oh, not a, not a, but we don't have to all fly out to Texas to see him at the at the nursing home? Well, Charlie's right up the street from they, him. Well, so. they, they sent him to a nursing home. Yes. And but, it's a terrible well, nursing home, and he's changing nursing homes. He hasn't got what a happened? sponge bath in a week and a half. Huh? Uh, he had a spine operation. No, no sponge bath. Yeah, uh, upper neck. Uh, yeah, the spine. He had surgery spine. in his neck. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. you have a stenosis. Oh, and they sent him to. Oh, they sent him to one of those uh, recuperating home yeah. places. Yes. Oh, that oh. suck. Yeah, they're post-acute care. Well, you know, they can be good or they can be bad. Right. And this one happens to suck. You know, so. I Um, went to one that was terrific. See? I mean, it. it, 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 (laughs) um, That's because you had good insurance. uh, Probably. He probably has good insurance, too. He was in the radio business. And some of them are, you know, some of them are very nice, um, fairly decent organizations but they just don't have enough money to run them properly my mother was in one that you know i felt sorry for them they didn't have the the ability to really do it top notch and then i managed to get her in the jewish home for the age and it was it was that was that was like sending your kid to harvard and nowadays they're having a hard time you know uh with employee too yes yeah Everybody yeah. is. But anyway, so, uh, you know, Jack is, uh, he's recovering. He he's, should be back, according to what he says, in about another week. But, you know, we don't know, you know. He has his first post-op uh, exam tomorrow. by the surgeon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. 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 What did he have, a stenosis or something? No, that, he had uh, some kind of stuff on his spine. I don't oh. Know. In his neck. In his neck oh, area. In his neck? He said they fused a couple oh. joints or something. Well, yeah, fusing isn't as intrusive as uh, going out and doing a rotor rooter in the upper part of the spine, like the C1. Rotor rooter, boy, I would. Well, love yeah, they go that. in is and. Is that a they, technical uh, term, Phil? Yeah, well, what happens with a stenosis is uh, you get uh, pressure on the spinal cord, and well, uh, this in is the not. Or- st- this wasn't stenosis. Oh, okay. Oh. 
No. So he had a. Um, this was uh, ro Roto Rooter esque. Yeah. <laughs> they, they took pressure off of nerves that were causing him to fall. Yeah. Boy, now that we talked about Jack's being sick, we're lost audience. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sorry <laughs> and, and Alex, I was wondering if your um, uh, vertigo. Uh, is what caused you to fall out, fall out of the bed, and maybe fall on the sidewalk, and and uh, at those times. Well, uh, the vertigo, the tripping on the sidewalk was I actually stumbled over a part of the concrete. Oh. Uh, the uh, falling out of bed? No, nah, I don't think so. It's just I fell out of bed. You know, I was sleeping, mm -hmm. I rolled, and I fell off. Uh, mm -hmm. And the doctor, my my neurologist, would like to think the reason I was in the hospital a couple of weeks ago, went to the emergency room, was because of vertigo. But I disagree with him entirely because I was really nauseous. I've never felt that way with this vertigo. I'm vertigo lightheaded. Vertigo can cause nausea, though. Well, it can cause <clears throat> nausea. In my case, it hasn't yet. And okay. the, that day, I had done this, this tuna tartare the night before. Okay. And I think that was a good reason for me to be nauseous. And then when I tried to lift my head, I couldn't because I was so I sick. I love sushi. I've never had a So problem. finally, he had to, they had to take me to the, the emergency room and they gave me a pill to keep me from throwing up, you know, and I, that cleared things up. But I don't think it was, uh, it was caused by vertigo. And my doctor said, well, I think it was. And then as I was walking out of the office, he looked at me and he went, well, maybe it wasn't vertigo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Alex, last week my son cooked some fish here, some uh -huh. shrimp, and I didn't know it was out for four hours, and I ate it, and it happened to me. I was up all night puking, Yeah. and I felt dizzy and spinning See? and everything. See? Alan, Alan had an experience. Yep. I went to Red Lobster and ordered shrimp, and it was cooked on one side and not on the other, and I oh. thought it was kind of a weird taste. Yeah. And I flipped it over. By the way, I have pictures. I flipped it over, and it was raw. And that night, I got sick for a day. I threw up, fever, you know, the normal. Yeah. Everything ran out of me. And so, That's of course, exactly Red, Lobster's what kicking, Red Lobster's kicking me around. I'm going to get a, a lawyer. So. Well, I'll, we called the restaurant that uh, this happened to me and just told them just so that they would make sure that there was nothing wrong. Right. You I've know. already contacted the health department and everything. But I, uh, but the thing is, you know, uh, uh, tuna you can usually eat raw. You know, that's oh, yeah. that's one of the ways it's served. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I, I never minded it that way. There is, I'm trying to remember what uh, what shrimp it is that you can eat raw. It's the only shrimp you can eat raw. I don't know. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. I, I don't know. They eat raw most of them shrimp all the time in Japan. I won't eat it. Aren't most of the shrimp cooked somehow? And uh, Well, when it's cooked on one side and not the other like mine, then no. <laughs> Let's see here. Raw shrimp. Let me see here. There is a there is a kind of shrimp you can eat raw. Uh, let me see. Uh, I, I ordered a clam and garlic pizza once, and uh, the clams must have been bad. I was sick for three days. Wow. Really? Was that the clams that came from Trump's clam house? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, uh, <laughs> what happens if you eat raw shrimp? It can cause diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Okay, but wait a minute. But there's another kind of that you can you eat raw shrimp? Okay. Let me see here. What's the name of it? Can you eat raw shrimp? What is raw shrimp called? Pink shrimp. No. No, no, no. I don't know. I, it was a kind of shrimp you could have, and it was. Uh, it was. It, it, you could eat it raw. So, mm. you know. of course, that was. I don't eat anything raw. You don't eat anything raw. I like it's sashimi. Are, are you yeah. get you get it really cooked? Sashimi. Yeah. Like oh. meat has I used to get my steaks well done just to make oh, sure it was man, good. Oh, man, how horrible. <laughs> you well, know something? A steak well done is not worth having. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. because what, I, you've, I get a medium. what you've managed to do is cook all the flavor out of the steak. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like a piece of leather. You might as well be eating. Yeah, but I've never got food poisoning. And they it. say, don't, don't, uh, like, for instance, don't eat chicken skin. <clears throat> you know something? Mm -hmm. That's the best the, the most tastiest part of the chicken. It's right. it's the worst mm -hmm. for you from a dietary uh, no, point. No, you're not going to live forever. Enjoy life, Phil. Right, right. Yeah, you know. 
Oh. Whatever. So. I like the skin. Anyway, I mellowed over the years. I get mine medium now. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Well, no, that's a, that's okay. You know. No, it is. It's good that you mellowed. That's what I was talking about. I, I, I went out. I, I decided I would buy the cheapest cut of beef I could find at the store the other day and see if I could make it into something. And so the cheapest thing was about this big, and it was a rump roast for $15 for three pounds. So if you put a little wire on it, can you wear it as a, uh, a beach zori or uh, a flip-flop? <laughs> anyway, so I, tr I looked up recipes, and it's the most delicious recipe for rump roast. So I did the recipe just like it said. Mm -hmm. I threw three quarters of it away. <laughs> because it was so tough, it was ridiculous. I mean, there was no way you could make this into into really good, uh, a good meal, you know. So I'm back to the thirty five dollar steaks. They've gotten expensive. Oh they? God, chicken. Yeah, all the meat is expensive. Has, yeah. Chicken is expensive now. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. no. Everything because of Biden. <laughs> Inflation <laughs> was zero last month. Zero, according to Biden. Okay. Well, I so instead of being at a forty-four year high, it's at a forty-year high. Well, I mean, it's it's it it's but it, it everything's starting to go down. Gas prices have gone down. You have to admit yeah. that. You know. Yeah. So yeah, they're yeah. only double what they were. Three thirty-five yeah. a gallon in Austin. But you they're know. still going down. Yeah. What, what, what are you paying for? What are you paying area. for? What are you paying for, Brian? I uh five ninety I think today. Yeah, about six Damn, bucks. Where are you going? I, I paid six oh nine five ninety. That's California. Uh, yeah, yeah. Six oh nine. I'm yeah. I'm I, in Fremont. I'm getting it for five five and a quarter for name well, brand. When I left California in uh, two thousand three <clears throat> two thousand four, uh, it was uh, two fifty a gallon. So if you figure that how many years have passed, yeah, really, it's not as terrible as you think, you know. Yeah, it but just only went up three, two years ago it was two fifty a gallon. Yeah, but but Biden didn't have anything to do with it, and neither did Trump. I had a friend of mine did a Don McMillan, who was a comedian in San Francisco, was on uh, America's Got Talent, and he did a bit in which he talked about the cost of printer ink. You know. And he said, you get so much ink for so much, okay? Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. He said, that brings the cost of printer ink to $3,000 a gallon. <laughs> he said, gas doesn't look so cheap now, huh? Oh. <laughs> he said, and, you know, don't, and don't try to paint your house in printer's ink. You know? Bottled mm. water. Huh? Bottled water uh, is, you know, you pay two fifty for a, a liter yeah. of uh, bottled water, or two ninety five. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's that? Like twelve bucks a gallon? Uh, you know, you probably, know, Phil. If you didn't wear your Rolex in there, it would only be fifty cents a, yeah. a, a bottle. Well, no, Charlie's probably could convert uh, uh, liters to, uh, <laughs> to gallons easier than I can. Almost <laughs> but, all of us can easier yeah. than you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, and my trainer, he says, "Okay, now run a uh, hundred meters," and I said, "What is that in English?" You know, uh, he's, he's from Canada. What's a hundred meters? I don't, there's a little mark in the parking lot. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what a hundred meters is. Uh, the meter is a little over three feet, so it's uh, about so hundred three hundred yards. Feet. That helps. What did you say? Uh, here, let's go to the. One hundred meters is about one hundred and ten yards. Yeah. Yeah. Except I got a sixty-pound sandbag on my on my neck, and I'm and I'm running to the hundred meters. The Rolex, mark. the Rolex watch that you're walk that you're wearing right now, Phil. Yeah. Well, how many does it say? It's a diver's watch, I assume. It it it, it the the pressure. It says it'll go down to doesn't say feet i'll bet it says meters huh uh it says both it says 1000 feet 300 meters well there you go now you now you have something to figure it out by 3000 3, feet 
Yeah, 1,000 feet. 1,000 feet. 1, feet. Yeah. The, the big hand is on the three. <laughs> <laughs> and the Mickey Mouse hand is on the four. Oh, yeah, he's got the Mickey. There you go. Hey. There you go. And an iWatch? Yeah. Yeah, it's an Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Yeah. They don't call them iWatches. It's Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Yeah. 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 So, Mickey's talking. Yeah, I am. Uh, uh, mine does, mine doesn't talk. For it's a just woman. Old. For a hey, woman. Let me Get see. Get a here. woman's watch. There we go. Wait a minute. Here we go. It's 11.45. Good night, pal. Nah. Yeah. But that's not the one. I'm not using Mickey lately. I'm using... Uh, I'm using another... I, I don't know if you can see it. Okay. How do I... I <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the. I don't bend that way. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> this is the one I'm using. Oh, that's a nice face. This yeah. was my dad's, my stepfather's Mickey watch. Yeah. Oh, oh really? Oh, there's that's a real Mickey Mouse watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. I've got a Bugs Bunny from I think the 30s, but uh, it needs a new inside. Yeah, uh, the Bugs Bunny watches and so on. All those other kind were like ripoffs of the Mickey Mouse watch because it was the most yeah. popular one. Who made the Mickey Mouse watch? Timex? No. I guess. Nope. No. Who? Anybody? Keeps a licking. Anybody? Keeps on ticking. Look at your father's watch. Oh, I, had, I was looking in the back, but the band is on. Hamilton? Hamilton? Nope. Hamilton? No. Ingersoll. Oh. Uh, Ingersoll Rand? I don't know. The, 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 uh, Ingersoll. Uh, that, that, that's the air power jackhammers, Bill. No, oh, they also yeah. used to make. Uh, what does it uh, say? What does it say? Is it say Ingersoll there? I don't know. I'm checking. He's trying to check. I need mean, my glasses. He's I'm getting old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't take it off. The band is on. Yeah. Uh, what doesn't say on the face? No. Mm. Say on the back? Yeah, but I can't take the band off. The band goes underneath, so. Oh. No. Yeah, but it, it, they were Ingersoll's. I, I don't know if they printed it on the front of the face of the watch. They may have put it on the face of the watch. Yeah, they have something. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's interesting, isn't it, folks? Oh, okay. yeah. Tell now me. I'm going to go get my watch out of the safe and see if it says anything. <laughs> I'll be right back. What, 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 what? A Rolex talking to you. Wow, now you, wow. we know you're nuts. <clears throat> oh, man, it is so hot in here, and it isn't hot tonight out there. Hmm. This is weird. Um, maybe your heater's on. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. the heater's on. No, no. Your watch, turn the heater on. But I'm just, I'm, I'm sweating <laughs> here. There was a fire near. Uh, there was a fire near Ray. I was near Ray's area. Uh, there is morning. There was uh, the McLaren dealership. They have a Tesla dealership and a Volvo dealership all there. And there's a pickup truck. They think it was arson though. Uh, pickup truck had batteries, Tesla batteries on it, and they caught on fire Sunday morning. I live right down the street from there. Yeah, yeah it's like they're, they're having the trouble with those with those uh, with those uh, Tesla batteries. Uh, mm. Exploding still, don't they? I guess catching I on fire. Not yeah. very often. Yeah. Well, you know, there, there, there's so many Teslas there. in my neighborhood. <clears throat> I've never seen one blow up. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> and Brian's Tesla hasn't blown <laughs> up, and his McLaren's running good. Yeah. McLaren, man. I want one I know, of those. I know right where you're talking about in Palo Alto, Brian. Yeah, I yeah. They they start sharing really parking lot. I take my Man. roommate to the doctor, and we drive right by the McLaren dealer. What is your license plate? I live five what minutes you, from there. What does the license plate on your McLaren say, Brian? <laughs> um, steal me? I love Alex. <laughs> I love AB. No, it says uh, F1 jeans. F1 jeans? F1 jeans for Formula One racing, because the mm -hmm. McLaren uses that. You know, they race cars, um, F1 cars, and then also Gene, since I work in genome, you know, industry. So it's sort of a play. Well, I don't hear it say anything, Phil. <clears throat> uh, I'm yeah. trying to see if I got a magnifying glass so I can see it. <laughs> yes, hey, Brian, have you, have, you, have you tried the new Corvette? Yeah, I tried that before, before I got my McLaren. I was looking at How it. How is it? <clears throat> I don't like the interior, so it's... 
Uh, yeah. They have like a wall. What, can I ask you a question? What is it about guys in technology? And I shouldn't have to ask this question because I work for technology companies, and this held true there. What's with people who work at technology companies and sports cars and exotic cars? You got to have something to spend your money on, right? Yes, your guys who bought the the two NSXs right when they came out from right. from to Video Toast. What was, what was that called? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. From from uh, yeah. Uh, Video Toaster. Toaster. Yeah, yeah, New your tech. buddy. New Tech. Yeah. Video Toaster. Yeah, they yeah. they all bought they bought NSXs and then brand new. Yeah. Later on, when they started playing corporated, my my friend bought himself a Ferrari, and then his friend gave him a Lamborghini. It was cheaper to give him the Lamborghini than it was to tune it up. Probably. <laughs> probably. Most probably. uncomfortable car I've ever ridden in in my life. I think I've talked about this before. Absolutely. Yeah, I, you know, I said, uh, Brian, are you going down to Carmel next week? And did you spend the 500 bucks for a ticket? I go every 12, I have 12 or 14 years I've gone. Yes. No, I'm not going to Carmel. I'm not going on Sunday, though. My car is oh. going to be in the Concorso Italiano, though. The McLaren will be in there, so that'd be cool. Yeah. What is that? Show. But what is? Why is it? What? What? What is the lure of of exotic cars and people in technology? And you're in technology, really. You know. Mm -hmm. hmm? I don't know. What's your lure? What's your lure to this? I mean, I they, I had a. I have he doesn't not, have to drive a Pinto. He I, can I, afford a nice I car. A, a, I had a Nissan 300ZX. Okay, <clears throat> there you go. But I bought it just because. Hey, it was in the uh, it was in the showroom. It was considered used because it was a demo, mm -hmm. and I just said, okay, mm -hmm. that looks nice. I'll buy it. And I'm driving down the street, and kids are going like that to me. <laughs> you know, and I'm going. I didn't buy it for that reason. I just nobody bought it knew who you were. They just liked the car. Yeah, well, yeah. It was it was a great car. I mean, I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. You know, it's so classic. It was so low slung though that I off. I I had to have like the the plastic bumper on the bottom changed every now and then because it would get all dinged up and everything from getting caught on like you know those little bumper things when you go in a, into a parking lot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then the, I the pull away and it would just rip it against. right out. You know. You had a yeah. cool car at one time. You had a Volkswagen Squareback. What? Remember that? Didn't you have a Volkswagen? In New York, I had a Squareback. Oh, you didn't bring it out here. I thought no, it was always no. parked at the bottom of the steps. I thought that was yours. What at the bottom of what steps? Uh, at Whiskey Springs. Well, that no, I never had. I never had. Uh, no, I never had a Volkswagen at that point. Yeah. Oh, Bill's oh, mind is starting to go. He's been watching MSNBC. Too. Well, years go by, and uh, you know, uh, Alan said that. Uh, yes, I saw it on MSNBC. You watch that channel You must be bad. But, uh, yeah, you know, you had a Volkswagen square bag. What did you move out here with uh, into, into California? I didn't move out here with anything. He was born in the Bay Area. Remember I, that? I, I, I left a car in New York, which was a Volkswagen square bag. But then I came out here, and I didn't have a car, and the first thing I had to buy was a car. Mm. Was that the Datsun B210 or something? Or? No, it wasn't even Datsun. It was like, a, I can't remember what it was. So you but had to move out there. Phil was a, a really good friend, didn't offer to buy you a car. I mean, what the heck's up with that? <laughs> no, but anyway, no, I, what I did when he was, was unemployed, he when, made more when, than when me. When I first came out here, I was so broke, I was sleeping at my mother's place. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I had to get a car, so I was able to somehow pay, buy a car and pay for it on time. Or whatever. Yeah. I got rid of that pretty fast once I started making the bucks, you know. And yeah. eventually, I wound up with uh, the D Nissan, uh, the Nissan 300ZX, and I also had an Acura. You had a Mazda too, didn't you? At one point, I had a Mazda. Mm -hmm. I had a, oh, I had a Mazda RX. Yeah, yeah, rotary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had one. Yeah, those were fast. Those are fast. But they were nice. They're really nice. <clears throat> you know. Yeah. Those are great. They broke down a lot. But they ate, I, they they ate up gas though, they were yeah. they were gas guzzlers. Yeah. When I was so, young, I had a Mustang 5.0 five speed, and 
1990, and then I was racing, and I, I was on 280, and uh, uh, RX-7 came pulled up next to me, and we raced, and he blew me away. <laughs> well, I when I, went, when I got out of the Navy, I had to buy a car, so uh, it was the second year that the Mustangs were out, so I bought a Mustang, yeah. and I love that car. I mean, what that was... What a bargain that was! Twenty five hundred dollars, and it was a, it was, you know, it was a two door, uh, bucket seats. Wow. You had uh, you had uh, what do you call it? rugs? Uh, you know, carpeting mm -hmm. in the car. I mean, this was stuff that you you didn't get carpeting in those days. You know, you were lucky if you got a floor. You know, Flintstones. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> when I think about all the cars, when I think of all the cars I've owned over my life, God, and I haven't owned one for the last fifteen years. Yeah. You know, but that's a smart move. <laughs> well, no, I mean, what would I do with it in New York City? I, I know it, it costs you more to park it than you you pay for the thing. The insurance <laughs> would be incredible. If you owned a golf course, a golf course in New York, you, you get buried pay, there. You uh, you can park the car there. You know, you're Wednesday, right. I didn't I didn't think about that. Damn so when, when you moved back to New York, you didn't have a car. Is that is that when you? When I moved back to New York, no, I sold my cars. Yeah, um, yeah. When I moved back to New York this time, uh, and I, uh, I I sold uh, you know I sold all my cars. I came out here because I saw no reason to have a car out here. How you know, long have you been in New York? How, how long till you came back? How long ago? I came back here in two thousand four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow! Wow! Been a Do you long know what time. the average car payment is now? Uh, uh, you know, the, the, please the, tell us, Bill. The thousand one million dollars. No, yeah, thousand dollars a month. Yeah, it used to be somewhere you could actually you could buy a car in the old days. You could get them for like uh, six two, grand. It, well, yeah, or you know, for the whole pro for the whole car. Yeah, my father bought uh, the last car he bought before he passed away was a brand new 1972 Cadillac Eldorado. It was sixty three hundred dollars out the door. Right? Wow! And he had payments on it. No, no, it was that was. Oh, really? That, you know, yeah. at that time, it's probably, you know. Well, the three hundred ZX cost me twenty eight thousand. Wow! Yeah. Really? That's a lot of money today. I, I mean, mean it, well, when it was brand new, it was probably only eight thousand. No, 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 no. no that that was brand. That was brand new. It was a demo. Oh. It was normally around thirty five thousand. But I paid uh, twenty eight thousand for it. That was a step up from a B two ten, huh? Yeah, I, rem I remember. I was uh, we were talking to the guy at the uh, dealership, and he said, "Well, uh, let's see here. G uh, give me a price, and I'll go ask my uh, my guy, you know, <laughs> and my business the business guy uh, if it's okay." And and so my business manager said, "Okay, two hundred dollars." He said, "No, just any 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 price you want to give me." He says, two hundred dollars. Go see what he says. He, <laughs> guy comes back. He's laughing. No, he didn't go for two hundred dollars, but he can let you have it for thirty five thousand. And my business manager says, "Nah, nah, that's too expensive." He said, hey, go, "Let me go check with him again." He goes and he checks with him. And he comes back and he says, "How's thirty thousand sound to you?" He said, "How about twenty eight five?" And the guy said, can't do it, can't do it. He said, you can't do it? He said, no. He says, okay, Alex, come on, let's go. And we're walking out the door, and I'm going, but I want that car. I want that car. I'll pay the 30000 We could afford it. He says, just wait. He, you will hear his voice be before, you, before <clears throat> our hands hit the door handle on the door to the dealership. And as soon as we hit the door, the guy said, okay, 2850 or $28,500, rather. So... And That's you're saying that with the thirty thousand, because you said, you know what? I've got so much money, I'll be fine the rest of my life. That's, That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> anyway, there's a theme. Oh God, it's all. When over. those guys <laughs> say they're going into the back to ask their boss, really, all they're doing is they're taking another puff on their cigarette and they yeah. come. Oh yeah, out. sure, sure, of course. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, that's it for tonight, Phil. Thank you so much for joining us, <laughs> Jeff. We haven't heard much from you tonight, but always good having you there. We, you. we feel more alive when you're there okay oh. yeah and uh, oh, Kevin you. terrific having you here as well as Alan and Charlie and Kevin and uh, even even Tony we, we, 
thank you, Tony. And Ray Renati, yeah, you too. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. There's our citizen panel, and there they go, and they're finished for tonight. And uh, I hope they enjoyed themselves, because I enjoyed uh, having time with them. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. Uh, th there's no Jack Nick, because he's still in the hospital. But I'll play a rerun here. Wait a couple of minutes for it to start. Where was I, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.